So today guys, I bring you 7 tricks, glitches and exploits for Borderlands 3. So stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so glitches and exploits ain't for everybody. Some people use them, some don't. I 100% fully understand that. BR3 is a game full of all kinds of exploits and so forth to make the game more fun and more enjoyable. Today, I bring you seven glitches, tips and tricks and exploits to help you out. Now, if glitches are what you are into, there's a good chance you probably know most of these as I've covered the majority of them on my channel already. Well, hey ho, let's go and get into it. Firstly, we have the fastest method and the easiest method in duping items. All that needs to be done is as follows. Join someone's lobby if you are the duper. If you ain't the duper and your friend is, for instance, have your friend join your lobby and you need to be at Sanctuary. Then all the duper has to do is go into their bank and spam the item they want to dupe into their bank or into their inventory from their bank. Because of the lag, the more the merrier. Spamming it into your vault dupes the item. Yes, how crazy is that? So no backing out needed, no trading and quitting the game. It's as easy as spamming items into your bank. Now it doesn't 100% work every single time, but just keep spamming away. And as long as there's a little lag, it will duplicate the item. Next up, we have a method of getting literally billions of money in minutes. All it requires you to do is have a low level weapon, something like the infinity pistol at low level is best, and a money barrel. So head to Ambermere on Eden 6, you'll come across jabbers running around with barrels. They drop these barrels which drop cash. If you stand there shooting them with a low level weapon, the barrel doesn't break and spawns infinite amounts of money. It's absolutely crazy guys. I came here with my friend, we both did this for about 5 to 10 minutes with separate barrels and while well, I was at max money before I even knew. But interestingly, the 9999999 you see on your screen isn't actually the limit. The game registers far more so you can keep on collecting guys. It's absolutely crazy. I got to the stage now where I died and it took off me 400 million. So yeah, <laughs> craziness guys. Next up we have invincibility. Yes, that's right. How to become immune to all incoming damage. So you can go into the slaughter shaft, farm for hours and never worry about dying ever. And this is done so simple, it's unreal. So you need a specific artifact to do this. Anyone which beholds the mod of temporary invulnerability when your health drops below 50%. My variant of this artifact is a static charge, but there are many others. So what you do is, with this equipped, get yourself below 50% health. You can do this by damaging yourself or get taking damage from enemies. But as soon as you are below 50% health, Simply go into your inventory and switch out this artifact to any other one. If you do this right and it's kind of hard to do wrong, you'll be invincible to all incoming damage. Yep, absolutely crazy people. Now the only times I have noticed this not working is if your shield is regening when you switch artifacts or your health is regening when you switch artifacts. But to be honest, you can do this. You don't even have to wear a shield. Doing this right, you will be invincible and good to go guys. So next up, we have a simple method of you being able to earn offline XP while playing with your friends. Now this shouldn't be possible because you are playing offline theoretically, but in actual fact, it's very easy to do. And this is a great method in leveling up your friends or you being leveled up by them. So what you need to do is start up Borderlands 3 offline. So make sure the game has been quit out of and is not running in the background. Then turn your internet connection off to your console. You can do this in network settings on both PS4 and Xbox. PC, I'm not too sure. Then load up Borderlands 3, making sure your internet is not on. Then head to any destination you want. Make sure you ain't at the main menu though. Then all you have to do is connect back to the internet. So go to your network settings and reconnect. When you go back to Borderlands, if you press start, you'll notice that it will offer you a game update. Do not accept this update. You will also get a notification that you are now connected back to the internet. Then what you have to do is click start, go to social and reconnect to the internet. Then all you have to do is invite your friend or friends. 
Once they are in your game, you are free to play and in loads more XP. The only thing you can't do is back out to the main menu. So you can't quit out to the main menu, but you can fast travel anywhere. So you can't farm the same boss for XP over and over, but you can travel to each individual boss and kill them. And you can indeed use that artifact trick to make yourself invincible and farm the slaughter shaft for much easier XP. That's completely up to you. Okay, so moving on, and now we have a glitch I believe only works on Zen, unless the other Vault Hunters have any skill tree mods that activate kill skills upon activating their action skills. Zen does this via their scene red mod. So Zen has various kill skills, like grenade regening, faster movement and so much more. These can be activated upon you using his action skills, via the scene red addition in his skill tree build, and making sure you have this equipped. But there's a simple glitch which allows you to have an unlimited kill skill timer, meaning you can use them endlessly, not only when you're using your action skill. And guys, it's as simple as pressing the action skill button and pressing the inventory button straight after. What this does is it activates your kill skills, but doesn't use your action skill, meaning when it runs out, simply repeat the process. Zen also has skill tree mods that allow his kill skills to last even longer, like the Death Follows Close mod. So have fun with this guys, especially my Zane mains out there. Next up we have a trick I've covered heavily over the past few days, and it allows you to basically kill any boss on the game within seconds without having any skill tree build setup. How crazy is that? It requires a certain few items though. The elemental projector artifact which was recently nerfed but it still works fine and the unforgiven pistol. So this method called crit swapping which has been around since D2 is pretty straightforward to do. But I'll explain. The elemental projector gives you a damage bonus of 90% if you are suffering the same elemental damage as a weapon you plan to fire. So I was using the fire cutsman so I would set myself on fire with a grenade or shotgun. Switch to the cutsman. Fighting Grave Ward, I'd empty my entire Cutsman clip, shooting them towards Grave Ward's crit spot, and then simply switch to my Unforgiven. Now, because the Unforgiven has a plus 400 critical damage hit bonus, if you switch before the Cutsman shots land, the game thinks it's the Unforgiven that's being fired. So each of those Cutsman shots gain the Unforgiven's damage bonus. And if you do all of this while still on fire, the entire process gains an additional 90% damage bonus buff from the artifact. Now I was doing this with no skill tree build at all on Zane, with no Mayhem 3 modifiers to help me out either. So imagine how much more effective this can be with a certain build. Okay, so lastly guys, we have a glitch which allows you to farm Legendaries War AFK. Yes, go away and come back and you will have hundreds or even thousands of Legendaries waiting for you. For this glitch to work best, you wanna be offline and it does require a loot tink. Eden 6 is the place for this. Now this method requires you to freeze the loot tink in place. Now there are different ways to do this. The first one was with the Quasar grenade, but it was pretty hard to do. Literally one in a hundred times, he would indeed freeze in place, allowing you to shoot his backpack endlessly to spawn legendaries. But this method you could kill him. So you had to let his health and shields regen. Another method was with Amara, which is the easiest method of all. With Amara using her phase grasp, follow any loot tink around until they start bowing, basically when they open up a teleport and try and escape. As soon as they do this, shoot them, then phase grasp them. This will glitch them in place, and then you are just free to shoot their bat back. Again, watch that health though. The next method, which is the AFK version, is done with Fleck using his pet. So locate any loot tink, shoot them until they're almost dead, then as they try and escape through that teleporter, have your pet charge attack them while they still have the icon above their head, indicating the charge attack. If you get this times right, your pet will kill the loot tink, which will seemingly freeze in place, but it's actually dead, but it just does not despawn, meaning the backpack stays in place for you to shoot, and you don't have to worry about damaging the loot tink. Now the AFK method requires you to have a certain shield, any variant of the red suit. This shield deals damage to nearby enemies, and having this equipped while you stand near this loot tank means you will be hitting his backpack, which will then spawn loot. You can literally put your controller down, stand next to the loot tank, do something else, go eat, go to sleep, whatever. When you return, you will have legendaries waiting for you. It's as easy as that guys. Pretty damn crazy, I agree. And on that note, we have come to the end. Seven tricks, tips, glitches, and exploits, and I hope you enjoyed them. 
But on that note, we are at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps. Uh, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.